Hello, my beautiful fragrance family. Dustin here, fragrance fan. Go ahead and do me a solid and click that like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell notification, and I'm just gonna keep on giving you guys these budget-friendly fragrance reviews that 40-ish and under dollar range. Most of these are way less than that, and a good number of these you can find at your local rack stores, and you know how when you go to the rack stores, a lot of times you got the men's stuff and the women, and the women's stuff and the men, and I was going to a TJ Maxx that I don't go to all that often, but it's one of my fairly regularly visited TJ Maxx's that I go to, and I decided, for whatever reason, to pick up a fragrance that I was pretty sure was supposed to be in the women's section. Decided to smell it anyhow. I'm talking about Sand Fog's Pistachio Dream. So I picked this thing up, and the uh, thing doesn't come off. I'm like, alright, it's some kind of like aftershave looking deal or whatever. But I noticed it was Eau de Parfum. Eau de Parfum oil. So that also piqued my interest, right? Take the thing off, and the atomizer on this thing is a roll-on. So it's not even an atomizer. And I was like, ugh, it's like strike two here. So I smell it. And I was like, this reminds me of something. And in my mind, it brought me to Cremo Spice and Black Vanilla. But the difference is, this is like a nuttier, fluffier version of that. Spice and Black Vanilla doesn't have any nut stuff in it, like pistachio or almonds or anything. But this one, has a real good dose of like that white meat of almonds. Get that white meat of almonds and mix it up with some real fluffy vanilla, like cream and I think there's like marshmallow and stuff in this thing. Real fluffy vanilla with that pistachio, a bit, just a little bit of some kind of sparkle. That like just an uplifting sparkle in this thing with some sugar, and that's what this is. And then I was doing a little bit more digging and seeing that a lot of people were uh, saying this was more feminine, which I kind of get. And I was like, man, I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm really digging this thing. I actually like it. I found out this is actually a unisex fragrance. So I wasn't going crazy. And I know I've structured this video a little bit different, but maybe it's just because I wanted to get this thing out there real quick. and. Uh, this right here is a date night fragrance. Date night fragrance. Especially in the warmer weather. A lot of people are saying this is a warm weather fragrance, but I think it's a little bit uh, polarizing. It's a little bit sweet, somewhat sticky. And I think that the, the almond, because it's so heavy in there, that nuttiness gives it too much of a heaviness, too thick. There's fluffy light vanilla and stuff, but that nuttiness gives, like makes it a little bit heavier and, and dense. So it'll work okay in the warmer weather, especially if you're in a, a climate controlled environment, church or whatever, or date night. This is an awesome date night fragrance. It's one of those scrumptious, delicious, like I'm telling you, they'll like this. And uh, so <sighs> it's a good fragrance. Just saying that it was a, uh, $14.99. Don't mind the back of this bottle. It looks crazy. I have no idea what happened to that thing, but it's $14.99. At Marshall's. Yeah, Marshall's, not TJ Maxx. I get them confused all the time. But, so, the performance on this is another thing that was pretty good. It lasts at least seven or eight hours. I've only wore it the past like day and a half. It's at least a seven to eight hour fragrance. I think it's longer because I put some on my, my wrist like a few hours before I went to bed, woke up and I could still smell it. The dry down gets even creamier than the opening and nuttier. Creamier and open uh, and nuttier and not quite as sweet, but it still holds on to that vanilla sweetness. Whereas the opening has that marshmallow, sugar, and vanilla sweetness. So men and women definitely can pull this off. It's probably 65% um, feminine, 35% masculine. So there is a bit of masculinity in this, but if you like Primo Spice and Black Vanilla, if you like that fragrance, you will like this one too. You will dig this, I promise you that, because it's real similar. A lot of people are saying this is real similar to, to Kyalai. Um, what's that called? I'll just put it right there. It's like Yum Pistachio or something like that. They're, they're saying, I, I haven't smelled that one. Like an idiot, I haven't smelled that particular fragrance. And that's a, a pretty popular one from what I understand. So um, yeah, overall rating, I will give this thing right now as it is, it's at least a seven and a half. It might go up. Just the scent profile is 
I could almost say an eight on this thing. I could almost say that this thing is an eight altogether because scent profile alone is like a seven. It's a really good smelling fragrance and it's hanging on. The roll on, if you just do like two there and two here, you'll have a nice scent bubble. It works really, really good. So I'm gonna be the first one to kind of hype this thing up. It deserves a little bit of attention. If you see this in the rack store, just go ahead and smell it, especially if you like sweet fragrances and it works okay in the warm weather. It's not too bad in the warm weather, but if you want a sweet, sexy, scrumptious date night fragrance that'll go well on a date in the evening of the summer, like I said, fluffy vanilla, meaty almond, fluffy vanilla, marshmallow sugar, creamy, just an amazing smelling fragrance for $14.99 and the quality is there. You can pick up all these different things. It does have a syntheticness about it with the nuttiness, but it's a good quality, good smelling, long lasting, sexy, date night, have to push your woman off you kind of a fragrance. So that's my final thoughts so far with this glorified first impressions of Sand Fog's Pistachio Dream. So with that, I'm out. Y'all be blessed. Take care of yourself always. And until next time.